What's up everybody and welcome to episode 20 of my Minecraft Let's Play. So what we're doing today is we're going to do a bit more crafting. In fact I'm just going to see if the rubber tree's grown anything. No, no, no. And I'm going to show you this. And there's a spider over there. What's this? This is something I built off camera. These are optic fibre something, what is it? Optic fiber cable, that's what it is. Um, and then this is basically where my this is the building, well, that's not much of a building, where all my industrial craft stuff will be. Anyway, so let's just get straight to it. If you put that there, dun 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 as you can tell I did do this. I had to plan everything out before. So you get two batteries and then you put the batteries on top and then you put um, that that battery is for later. Put one battery on top, and you do that, that, and that. To put an iron furnace, which is of course a generator. Put the generator in the middle. It's a windmill. Now, if you do this, I think it's this. Yeah, so that equals a macerator. So now what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to go to sleep. Is what I'm going to do on my very cool bed, which is now, um, as you guys remember, when I built this, I left a hole in the roof, which I've now added in with a diamond block because I had spare diamonds. Well, I've got loads of spare diamonds. But here, what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out here. I'm going to jump up, place the windmill down and add the battery to it, and that is very annoying. So... There we go. So I'm going to wait for this to charge up, guys, and then I shall be back. So, see you in a sec. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it's now fully charged. If I can get rid of this windmill, I will use it later. But not at the moment. Now, I can go down to... Ah, uh -huh, so you get a generator out of it. So I'm going to go down to here. Put my macerator here. So it's connected to it. But there's currently no power going to it. So I need to go up to here and get some coal. Go over to here, put the coal in the top battery there. And once again, it is, in it is incredibly loud. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to get to like, turn it down any further, so this is going to do that. I'll take that out so I just don't want to waste any more battery. And this creates coal dust. So what I want to do is I want to create free coal dust. And then I can create a solar panel. Okay, I'm going to need to leave that in there. But meanwhile, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the stairs. Play that, I don't need that. Shh, I'm going to need to make something called a bat book. So I need three batteries. So, I put this, I need three, so that would equal six of that, and then how many of these do I need? Or is it, how do you make a battery? Oh no, so it's tin. And then, what is it? A couple of cables, so I've got that, so I need to go and get some tin. Tin, tin. 64 tin. And let's just get some coal. Let's go up to here to where my furnace is. My furnace is not going to stay here, don't worry guys. So uh, then let's burn the tin. Boom. And then what else do I need? And that's it. So put that on top. Put that there and there. Three, 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 
in three. So that then creates three batteries. Next, do that. And then we're going to need some wood. That there. And put this in every other place. And you create a back box. So I'll let the tin all keep going. So let's keep going. And I shall put that here. So that will then be getting power later. Now I need that. I'll let that keep going. No, I need the recipe book. So if I can find it, I think it's using this. Ah, oh, there we go. So I need three, I need a couple of glass and I need uh, some generators. So I'm going to go and get this crafted up and I shall see you all in a sec. Okay guys, so I've got all of the required stuff. And I can't, ah, uh, so you do it like that. Put it like that. And get two of these. And I've done something wrong. Did I do anything wrong? Was that right? I'm pretty sure I thought that was right. Use the generator. There we go. So that creates a solar panel. Now the solar panel goes over to here. I shall start it by putting it there. Putting it there. There we go. So now that creates power, which will then be charging up the bat box. And then the bat box will the bat box will charge that when it runs out of things. So now that the mace now that that macerator is done, I'm going to start macerating some ores and coal because I need some more coal dust because I'm going to need a lot of solar panels. So let's put that there. So this is so this will be giving out power, as you can see. It is actually struggling to keep up with the demand. So let's just give it an extra boost. So now the rechargeable battery is empty. And as you can see this gets you two iron dust. Okay, so so actually take that out of there. So this should be charging up again, and it is now. In order to make another one, I'm going to make a couple more solar panels. Not that many more, but a couple more, and then I shall be back, and I shall load this up with some stuff, and I shall do some piping, and it will all be good. But I'll see where that goes. So, see you in a sec. All right. So I made some more solar panels, and these are pretty damn expensive. So let's put one there, put one there, put one there, put one there, put one there. I actually didn't mean to put it there, but I've got nothing to pick it up with because if I get if I get rid of it, then it will just turn straight into a generator. Now this should be getting energy quite quickly, and it is. So I can start macerating again. And as you can see, it's not really losing power. If I put that in there, then it will charge it up, and it will lose quite a lot of power. But then I will have a fully charged battery and I've got TMI up don't worry I was not cheating but when you um, quit the game and then launch back up ok so that's getting a bit quite slowly uh, but when you quit the game and launch back up TMI automatically opens up again and I quit because I was changing some what is all settings so Let's just see this. I've got enough copper. I don't actually need to macerate any of that copper. But what we're going to do next, because I've got the macerator, and we've got quite a lot of fuel supply we want to create. I'll try and find it. But we're going to create a giant system. All charged by solar panels, because as you can see, being charged quite quickly, but sh now I just remembered what I was going to do. Now, if you get some 
I think he's a wooden one, and some cobblestone ones. Going to put that in the top. Going to put that on the top. Now, does it take out? I I think I know what I've got to do. If I put it there, will it then start taking out? Does it need a pump? So I went to see if I could start getting out the iron dust and all of that from the macerator. But I think I'm going to need a pump underneath. But I'm going to sort this out, um, but I will be back in a sec, guys. Okay, guys. So what I've done here is I've done a pipe system all the way back to my base. So if I put this off here... So all I need to do now is go over it. Oh, I need more dirt. But all I need to do is go over it now and it will be completely sealed up. And I will have a pipe system going directly to my base. Which will be all good. So this goes all the way back to my base and it goes up into here. Oh yes, yeah, because I ran out of dirt, didn't it? Oh, I actually had dirt. Goes all up to my base and it goes into this chest. So if I then if I open up go to this chest, this chest is right this. Alchemy station thing. I can get one of these. I can put that on and it will turn on the engine which will then start pumping out some iron dust and when it speeds up it will eventually be doing it very quickly and all of the stuff that I put in here will well then it will go from here and it will end up in my base so I'm just going to do this the reason I'm coming it up is because it makes it more smooth looking I can see any reason this doesn't look very good, but maybe eventually I'll sort it out somehow. But yeah, so now I'm going to do another one probably, which I will then link up to... I'm not sure actually. Maybe I'll do it... I don't know, I'm going to ponder on it, and I'll come back to you in a sec, so I'll be with you in a moment. What's up, everybody? And I've still got TMI up. Oh, I don't know why that always comes back up. Trust me, you just literally have to trust me that I'm not cheating. And that's not right. So I just need to check the recipe and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, one sec, guys. Okay, guys, so I've figured out what it is and I need to go to bed again. Day 262. How about that? That's so much I've been playing on this world. I, I'm on this world nearly all the time. Because even if I'm not actually recording, then I'm still waiting because I've got the quarry to do on all that. Not that chest, this chest. So I want some clay, please. Let's see what this is doing. It's doing alright, I suppose. So I'm going to do... Tin. Oh yeah, sorry. That's all made it there now. <coughs> so, let's see how many of these I can make. Five. How many do I need? I need eight, don't I? So I just need a couple more. But I will let them all burn. No, oh wait, that's not it. That's not right. Okay, so we can put that in there. And look at this. That makes an alloy furnace. And I'm going to go and put this upstairs. I'll put it next to my bed. So you put some redstone in here and you put some of that in here. Do you need some coal? 
you can put the coal there. Then this quite slowly, but surely, creates some red alloy ingots when it eventually does it. Red alloy ingot. Now I need three of them. Is that literally all I need? But I'm going to need more later. So what I've done down here is I've done very messily away, and that needs to be covered up as well. It's a, uh, a very messy way of um, macerating. So I put stuff in here in the macerating box, like all of that, and it all goes down into there, through there, through there, underneath there, round through there, and to there. And this, I'm going to sort this out eventually. Since I'm actually, I might as well do that now actually. Since it's always going to be on, I think it's always going to be on anyway. I don't know why it would be off, because there's no reason for it to be off. So I can do that again, and I can put these two away. And the tin, I shall just, let's just store it in here for a while. So that's going to be pumping. I mean, it goes around there, and then it goes up here, and it goes through that. This is the only way I could actually figure out how to do it um, at the moment. But when this is done, I'm going to create a nice power supply. So you enter here, and you can get some red alloy ingots. And if you do that, it creates some red alloy wire. Now this is much better than redstone. It does the same stuff as redstone, but it is much better. So what I want to do is I want to go down here, and I want to do that. So as you can see, it, it like bends. Which is much better than before. And it can go up walls. So if I want to do this with the least amount of then I can put some block there. So I want to bring it actually I want to bring it around here. So it has to go like that, does it? So can it not go round it? Nope. And so it has to go on top, so I might as well just put it here. And then if I add my lever there, I can put the lever there and turn it on. And then this is going to leave it. So down here that's going. And that gets turned on. So if I then go like that, no, I can't do that because that then cancels out the power. Put that away, and I can put these away. So that's just a nice quick way of creating this. So then they'll go all the way through here, then they'll end up here, and hopefully they'll get done fast enough for this to then pump it up because I haven't really gotten overflow. Suppose I could, okay, you know, let's just do the overflow now. So if I add it's the wrong alchemy bag, if I get an iron transport pipe, I can then put that there. So it can't go back through there. Then if I get some more cobblestone pipes, and I need some building blocks. Let's just get cobblestone. I can then do that, and it should keep going in a circle. And then it will try and go down here, I suppose. But, oh, then I need to change that. Me, do I? It does go through there, or does that mean it can't go through that place? No, that's good. So it'll kill, still go through there. And it'll go straight into the macerator. Now, do I have. Maybe it's in here. Oh, it is. Oh! 
No, that's, that's wrong, that's wrong. Is that right? No, no, keep going, sorry, sorry I can't go through there. And I can't go back through there, so that works. But then... I need it to genuinely go through there, so I'm gonna try and figure this out and be back in a sec. What's up, guys? So, I think I figured it out. I think if I have that running, then as you can see, I filled it up with quite a lot of ore. Now, I think I did it because they can't go back through it, so they can, they're just gonna have to keep on going through there until eventually they get selected into here. So, I'm gonna let this run for a while and then. Oh, I suppose I'll get back to you when most of this chest is depleted and all that. So, to end, also a quick note, I added some more of these solar panels. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, so as you can see, well, it's working normally. And I think this is going to work. So I'm actually going to go and create another macerator and try and get the piping worked up so I can have two, which will then be joined into the same pump, obviously. But I will hopefully end up with three all along here at the first. I'm just going to try and figure out how to do two. So, I'll be back in a sec. Alright guys, so... Here's my new design for two. And I think I could add a third one and have to move that back a bit. And... As you can see, I, I'm... Hang on, I'm going to go and turn it on. But they should go down here. And then they couldn't go through there, so I'm going to have to go down here. The overflow, they're just going to have to keep on going through there. I think it's going to happen, it might lag a bit, but I mean, there's never going to be that much there, because this works, I don't know, moderately slowly, but if you look at this, then everything's in chunks, so that'll be all that's going through. So I'm going to go and sleep, because I'm assuming my bat box is actually running out of power. No, not really, it's going fine, so I don't think I need to. But I'm going to go and get some more ores, um, so I can add it in to that chest. So, silver or tin or copper or copper or copper or tin or. I don't really want the coal because the coal. I don't really know what the coal does, if I'm totally honest. And that's 18 silver, which will then go up to 36, I think. But I'm going to stay here so I can see what happens. Okay, so the blocks are there, so I want to see what happens. And I'll qu start quickly pause it, quickly start it again when it gets here. So it seems. Okay, guys, so it took its time, but it's managed to finally reach here. I want to see what it does. So that one's going to go over there. I mean, there should be random. So that'd be called one coal dust. Okay, I just put. I experimentally put in a p an iron and got see what it would come up as, so that goes into there. Oh, there we go. That's better, but I think at the end of this episode I'm going to take out all the sounds for all the machines, because they're pretty loud. But I think this is working fine, which is good. I'll be going through here, and I just kind of need to see the overflow. And they are going through here. I mean, they're not going two at a time, unlike that one, which is actually look like it's going like three at a time. But they are still going fine. And it's not like there's an overflow at all for in that spot. Probably will be, but that's all right. So since my back box is now probably being depleted, I'm going to go to bed. And I think I could make an electric furnace. Because that way the electric, the electric, fur oh, the electric furnace, as you can tell, runs off electricity. So I'm going to make that. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys. So this is the recipe for electric furnaces. Why is that always up? I genuinely don't get it. Seriously, guys, I am not cheating. I promise. But that is the recipe for electric furnaces. I've just got all of this ages ago. The diamonds. It might look like I cheated, but I haven't. So I'll show you why I've got so many diamonds, because I'm assuming that loads of people probably think you're, I am cheating. But this gets nearly full, so I put I put the um the 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 that from um 
whatever it's called, uh, equivalent exchange, and that turns them all into about 18 diamonds, and I've done that about 5 times. So that's 5 lots of 18 diamonds. I am not cheating. If none of you thought I was cheating, then, well, I'm not. So don't start thinking I am. So this is the electric furnaces. I don't know how fast they run, so I'm going to find out. Let's cook some copper ore in them. I suppose it's not that fast, but the reason you would do it is because... Oh, that's not good. So... They are overflowing, I wanted to turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to sort this out. Oh, there, there they are. I just need one. And that's better. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you sort out with that. Oh. If I can actually turn it back on. And then it should, I suppose, since those didn't work, I mean, they should then go back into that. And this is getting pretty overflowed with copper ore. But that's alright. So. Copper ingot. I guess I'll go ahead and put, put this and all the other stuff into my dust chest. So it's a bit dull without sound. But they are, they are really loud, all of this stuff. I could fit something else. Ah. So, yeah, there is nothing. Oh, don't turn back on. Oh well. I suppose it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna let this. Oh wait, I just need to see if this works. And it does. Hip hip hooray. Ah. So this is my this is the end of episode 19, or is it 20? I think it's 19. It's the end of episode 19. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.